Shalom. There's a new organization that pretends to be a pro-Israel organization, but for more left-wingers, uh, called J Street, and it's getting a lot of power and recognition in Washington. And uh, I did a little research, and I think people need to know exactly what J Street is about. Uh, it seems to me that instead of being pro-Israel, it contributes to anti-Israel biases and misinformation. Uh, first of all, among the uh, many of the things they say, it echoes the charges of Walt and Mearsheimer's The Israel Lobby and denigrates mainstream Jewish organizations across the political spectrum. You should know that some of their funders and advisors seem to have ties to Arab governments or hostile to Israel. One board member donated $10,000, and he's um, on the National American Iranian Council, widely viewed as the unofficial lobby for Iran in America. Another is a wealthy Palestinian businessman who considers APAC and Netanyahu to be enemies of peace. Uh, one of their board members is a board member of, uh, one of their donors is a board member of Human Rights Watch, an organization that always targets Israel for unfair criticism, and was recently exposed because one of its uh, military experts was obsessed with Nazi memorabilia. It also solicited funds from the Saudi government. Uh, a J Street advisor worked for the Egyptian Ministry of Foreign Trade became a registered agent for Saudi Arabia. You also have to be deeply concerned when it tries to draw moral equivalence between Israel and Hamas. Uh, during Israel's recent effort to stop Hamas from sending missiles, J Street said it could not identify who was right or wrong. It proclaimed that we recognize neither Israel nor Palestinians have a monopoly on right and wrong. Well, this is from a pro-Israel organization. They uh, frequently endorse anti-Israel, anti-Jewish narratives claiming that Israel's response to Hamas was disproportionate, classic anti-Israel talk. They uh, lay equally blame on Israel and Palestinians for the ongoing conflict, ignoring the long history of Palestinian rejectionism, the extremism of Palestinian, the extremism of Palestinian organizations like Hamas, Jihad, and Fatah, etc. Uh, they oppose the Israeli government and its electorate, and they urge Americans to oppose central peace Israeli policies that have wide support in Israel and the U.S. The Israeli organizations and politicians are affiliated with are parties that were soundly defeated and marginalized in recent elections. In their polls, claiming to represent the uh, majority of American Jews are, have demonstrated and exposed as unreliable because they were biased questions forcing the responses that J Street saw. Other polls of American Jewish public opinion produced substantially different results. I think there's quite a serious problem here when your supposedly pro-Israel organization takes regularly anti-Israel positions, uh, draws a moral equivalence between the terrorists and the state of Israel, aligns itself with the most extremist left-wing Israeli politicians who are marginalized in the Israeli elections, falsifies the data of their polling, and has as don significant donors and board members people aligned with the Arab lobby in the United States. This is a very serious problem. Before you get involved with J Street, take a look at some of this evidence. You can see many articles about it on my blog, uh, Israel, www.israelgreatest.blogspot.com. Thank you.